Hello, reformers, and welcome to the Conquerors of Kulchorn. And this is obviously going to be somewhat of a new series, I feel, because, well, I made a special feature a while ago, and the creator of the mod has updated it to version 1.1 from 1.0, which is the one I played before, and there have been numerous fixes, as far as I'm aware. So we will be now starting a new game and taking a look at the Conquerors of Kulchorn once again. Now, yes, this is obviously meant to provide a greater challenge. Enemies are highly leveled and equipment costs are greatly increased. So it's going to be somewhat difficult, obviously. So let's just see if we can actually make a go of it here. Am I actually going to be playing with a good start or am I going to just improve my stats? Well, that's the, that's the choice that you have to obviously make. Hmm. I think we're actually just going to be playing with a good start, at least for this, because obviously this is going to be pretty difficult, I feel. So let's try and get a really nice banner as well, shall we? Mm, let's see, what are we going to go for? We could go for a rooster. I think that might actually be the way to go, but maybe something else, maybe... Mm. I'm not entirely sure. I am not entirely sure. Something that is going to represent what we are going to be doing here. Well, I have no idea. What about a lion with a sword? A lion with a sword. Yes, let's do that. Allow me to quit without saving. Thank you very much. And we will now be distributing our points a little bit. Now, this is the problem. We do have a rather large amount in leadership, but our intelligence is very low, so our pathfinding is going to be pretty terrible. So we need to really get pathfinding up as quickly as possible, because obviously pathfinding, running away from things, yeah. That's definitely going to be the way to go. So let's just see here. Anything else? Inventory management, I suppose. We'll go for some prisoner management as well. Probably need to going to be getting that for a lot of money. Yes, the money is required from prisoners and, well, selling slaves and everything. So we'll go with that. Power strike is four, which is actually very good. Now, the only unfortunate thing is, is that I don't really want to spend two points in Iron Flesh right now. I really want to spend it in other things like Prisoner Management and, well, maybe Surgery? I don't really know whether Surgery is worth it this early on in the game, especially seeing as we may encounter some companions that have Surgery instead. So, I think we'll go for another in Prisoner Management. I know we may be going a little bit overboard on that. And I think we probably actually want to go for Shield. Maybe. Yeah, I think maybe going for shield would be a good idea. We're going to be going for like a one-handed and shield specialization anyway, so I think that will be good. And now it's just to find a name. Okay, so I have found a name, as you can see. Breakin' Skulls Benny. Oh yes, exactly. Well, we are going to be a slave trader somewhat, so I suppose Breakin' Skulls is exactly what Benny's going to do. Oh yes. So, let us head onward. And what is Benny going to look like? Well, we definitely want him to look a little bit rough, don't we? Yes, a little bit rough. So let's see here. What are we going to go? Hmm, somewhat mean as well. We want someone mean and not incredibly clean. So let's see. Let's see if we can actually get something here. Hmm, maybe something like this, but a little bit of different hair, perhaps. Let's go for something... Like, ooh, that one previously was actually good, but unfortunately we're not going to be able to find that again, are we? Maybe. Ah, that one. I think that one will probably be quite good. And now we can go for something... Maybe something like this. Mm, not entirely sure. Ooh, yes, that might be quite good. Okay, and we're going to make him pretty old. He's going to be quite a veteran at this. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's go for it. Okay, so here we go. Now we have to choose between the varieties of, well, different factions. And I think we're actually going to be going for Shearstone. Shearstone did seem, in my special feature, to be quite a good faction as far as I am aware. So let's go for it. Why not? Oh, it's in the snow. Oh, no. That is terrible. We probably need to head away from here as quickly as we can. Try and get down here a little bit into the grasslands. I do like fighting in forests and so forth more than on snow. So, we have quite a lot of money right here. And we're going to try and get as many volunteers as we can. There's some deserters. Need to be careful. Need to be very, very careful now. 
because obviously we do have a lot of high-level enemies to be dealing with here. Ooh, you receive word that Ravakian forces have landed on Korchorn, led by Conninger Tyroth the Lysandros. These are dark times, and with the various factions of Korchorn vying for control in the name of Krimnand, no army in all of the land can stand against him. Oh my, that doesn't sound good, does it? Okay, well, hopefully we won't encounter him too early on. We are going to be acquiring quite a few units here. Let's see if we can actually make a go of this. I'm going to try and get quite a few units. And then we'll be heading on over, all over the place basically, and trying to find a couple of jobs and trying to make our way in the world. That sounds like a good idea to me. So let's just see if we can actually find a couple of... Not those guys. No, thank you. No, no thank you. Let us run away from them. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's run away very, very quickly indeed. Thank you, Pathfinding. That's all I can say. Thank you very much for that. Now let's head on over to the nearby village. See if we can get a couple more volunteers here. I'm aiming for about 20, maybe 25 volunteers, and then we can start fighting a couple of bandits, maybe, in case we find a bandit party with less than us, or around equal, maybe about... I don't know, 15 I think we could probably take on, then that would be great, but if not, then obviously we're going to be oh, dealing with some Ravacane looters. Oh, they have some raiders with them as well, so we need to be quite careful here. I am starting to lose speed, obviously, due to the fact that we are recruiting quite a few units. So let's try to keep as far away, of, well, as far away from them as we can, at least right now. I do want to try and get quite a few units before we actually engage some of these guys. Maybe we'll be okay, but I don't really want to take a chance of actually, well, being defeated in the first episode. That would not be great, would it? No, that wouldn't be too good. So let's just see what's going on here. Oh, we have a vassal from the Wicklands here as well, seeming to scout out maybe a couple of weaknesses in the Shearstone defense, maybe, maybe, just maybe. Wow, robbing brigands. Definitely don't want to be fighting those anytime soon. They have a knight, so I can assume that he has a horse and some very, very powerful armor as well. Ooh. Oh, I really want to get involved in this fight. Can I actually do that? That would be... Oh, no. He's going to lose. Ah, that's unfortunate. Well, he is two versus one. We're not going to be able to get involved in that anytime soon, so... Yes, maybe we can actually... Does this mod have Freelancer? That's the thing we have to find out. Maybe it does. And if it does, then we will probably be able to make a good go of it there. Highland Pikemen. Six of them. We have 16. I actually don't know. They want to attack us, so I can only assume that they have much more confidence, much more skill, and maybe much more gear than we do. So let's just see whether we can... Ah, there we go. Now we might be able to attack all those guys. Let's see if we're actually able to make a go of it. They have 19. Oh no. We have deserters here as well? Okay, let's be careful. Oh no. No. Thank you very much. You're not faster than me. I am at moving at 6.6. .6. Thank you very much. Okay, Shearstone Pikeman. Probably not going to be able to deal with those. Wow. Everyone is after us right now. Well, I suppose we could just head on to this village over here. See if we can acquire a job at Swinmore. Maybe. Oh. There's actually some bandits here. Okay, let's attack. Why not? Is infested by 13 highwaymen. We do actually have a, sh a sword and a shield, shall we say. And we are going to be taking on these guys as quickly as we can. Yes, take out his horse. Thank you very much. I only, I am allowed to ride a horse. Thank you. Until our units obviously level up. So let's just see here if we are able to deal some significant damage. We do have quite a lot in power strike. So hopefully I will be able to deal some significant damage here. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe, I will be able to. If I don't get stuck, that is, if I don't get stuck in the <laughs> varying environments, yes. There we go. We seem to actually be dealing quite a lot of damage right now. Hopefully I'll be able to, yes, there we go, take out quite a few of these guys. That reminds me, that reminds me, we are a slave trader, so I am actually going to attempt to try and find some sort of blunt weapon. Because we will need a blunt weapon to be able to take people prisoner. A sword will not do. Yes, it will definitely not do. Let's do a bit of a stab there. Oh, yes, our Shearstone Conscript was able to knock him unconscious. Actually, that's actually rather wonderful because now we have 
a couple of yeah I'm gonna say a couple of prisoners but we actually don't because we were obviously helping a village there and they don't allow you to take prisoners from that so yes nevertheless we did actually gain quite a few relation with the village and obviously we now gained quite a few more units as a result so let's just see what's going on here we do actually have quite a few wow a lot of them actually leveled up so before we actually head on anywhere else I'm actually gonna save here just in case and we're gonna take a look at the troop trees because I actually do want to see what is going on with Shearstone. Okay, so they have pikemen and marksmen, heavy crossbowmen by the looks of things. That's actually very nice to see. And they have some heavy infantry as well as pikemen. So if we are going up against a couple of cavalry, I think we probably want to get quite a few pikemen. Now do bear in mind they actually do have spears in the majority. So I think we're going to go for a... 66% to 33% ratio in terms of infantry to archers. So let's go for something like 11 of those. Well, 10, maybe 12, and then we'll go for 7 of these. So we have a wide variety of different tactics that we can employ. Now, we do need to head on to the town very, very quickly indeed, because obviously we need to head on and meet with the guild master, because we want to gain a job from him. To deliver some wine. Oh, okay. If you can take seven units of wine to Modagon in seven days, you can earn 90. Okay, I will make the delivery. Now, the one thing I'd like to see here, which could be a bit of a unscrupulous move, is to actually sell the wine. Okay, no. The wine is obviously only nine. Now, that's really unfortunate. But I suppose what we could do is assess the local prices. Maybe I should have gain some trade skill. That may have been a good idea. Okay, so now we can take a look and see what kind of things are going on. Well, yes, pr pretty much nothing because we have zero trade skill by the looks of things. Ah. Well, apart from that, I suppose we can actually head into the tavern and take a look around there. As you can see, they've actually, wow, a very nice reskin of the tavern here. Oh yes, that's very nice. A mystic merchant, always welcome here. Ooh, is this a companion? It is. I came to Colchon seeking fame and fortune, so I wandered around, and here I met you. And that's it. A hero like yourself would be a credit to my cause. Yes. You will need 12,000. Okay, I was going to say, you will need one, because I really just want to pay him one and for him to join us. He actually seems like a rather trustworthy companion right there. Well, nevertheless, we will not unfortunately be able to field him this time, so uh, let us see where Modagon actually is. Oh no. It's all the way down there. Okay. That's actually not too... not too bad. And we are actually quite strong right now, so I think we should be able to take on a regular bandit party anyway. So let's just see how well that goes. Let's move on down here. We're going to stop off at a couple of villages just in case they are actually being besieged or raided by some bandits as well. We always want to make sure that we have a good amount of relation with the units in the area. And okay, we're actually going to be trying to take on these mountain rebels, I feel. Or not, because they actually just wandered into one of their own units and now they have 47 and we have 30 so let's just see how well we do shall we well we have a crossbow so I'm actually gonna attempt to do a little bit of damage with that now our people do actually have a couple of blunt weapons unfortunately I'm not able to afford a blunt weapon just yet so I'm hoping we can actually find one from a couple of these enemies here I think that would actually be really nice. So let's just see here. Are they going to have any ranged weapons? That's the one thing that we're going to need to take into account here. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Okay, so I'm going to just switch to my sword and shield for now, just so that we can block any arrows that are heading our way. And it appears as though they are actually going to be outmatching us, or at least maybe, just maybe they are going to be out... How? How did he actually get that to happen? Well, 
<laughs> that is a headshot for you, isn't it? That is a headshot. That is really quite unfortunate. Seeing as they have Highland pikemen as well, I was hopeful that we would actually be able to take on those guys, but unfortunately it appears as though that will not be the case this time around. So we are just going to get taken prisoner, unfortunately. Ah, oh, no! That is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. Well, we were released relatively soon. So I suppose we could just head on from here. I'm actually going to cut away and try and recruit a couple more units, and then we'll see you back here, I suppose. Okay, so I have recuperated quite a few units. I had to wait some time for the villagers to respawn and refresh their villages, and also the fact that we were being pursued throughout the land, so that was really quite unfortunate. Now, the un also the unfortunate thing is, the quest has now expired because it has taken that long, so we will have to retake something, and I have taken a caravan escort mission from the same guildmaster. Obviously, he wasn't very happy with us, but nevertheless, he did give us another job, and we are now going to be dealing some damage to these mountain rebels that have actually beset upon us. So, let us take to the field. And, as you can see, I actually have decided not to go with any crossbowmen this time. I feel as though they may not be the greatest units to go for this early on, because obviously all we need is a showing of strength in melee combat, and they do tend to fire a little bit too slow for my liking, at least this early on. So, let's see what we can actually pull off here. Now this is a little bit more to my liking. These guys do have some rather good units, so even though they are outnumbered, I wouldn't count them out just yet. Whereas previously, obviously, we were vastly outnumbered and they did actually have some very good units. So, let's charge our unit in. And we're going to try to not get headshot this time. That would be a wonderful revelation, wouldn't it? Well, that happened. That did happen. Yes. That happened once again. Goodness me, these guys. They are very, very good with their pole arms, are they not? Yes, very, very good indeed. Well, we should be able to take these guys on without too many difficulties. I can only say that I am extremely thankful that I charged our units in before actually heading on in there. I gotta say that the combat skill of the AI seems to be extremely good. And, well, as you can see, they were just absolutely destroying us on every turn. But thankfully enough, we do appear to actually be taking a couple of these guys prisoner. Hopefully, that will then help us out with a couple of our money problems. We are actually running out of money, obviously, as you could probably imagine. And there it is. Thank you very much for that. Okay, so, yes, look at this. We can actually take these guys prisoner. That is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So, let us now head on to the loot. Oh, yes. So, this is exactly what I am hoping for. A nice helm right there. Wow, actually, a much better helm there, too. And we are going to be getting a very nice male shirt once we have leveled up to, well... Level 4, because we have 10 strength right now. So that should be very, very nice to see. There is a cudgel, which we will be using instead of this sword. Has a little bit less damage, but it is a blunt weapon, of course. There are some leather gloves. And I think that will be fine. I'm not going to be really taking too much. I'm just going to be taking the rest of the loot just to sell now. There we go. Sounds about right to me. We can actually take much more of it. Thank you very much. Okay, and I'll see you at the nearby town when we're selling. Okay, so we're just about to sell the remaining items that we picked up from the previous bandit party, and hopefully we'll be able to gain quite a lot of cash from this, because obviously we are running out. We did actually gain a good amount from the actual battle itself, so I've got to say that that's actually pretty cool. And let's see here, I want to make sure that I don't sell that male shirt. I want to sell everything else, though. I don't really want to use this shield, it seems to be a little bit... yeah inferior to the one that we had previously and we do need to buy some food so let's get some cheap grain and some cabbages and some fruit wow okay we're going to be receiving 405 that's not bad i have to say and hopefully we can now head into the tavern as well because i would like to try and find a ransom broker if at all possible
if it isn't, then obviously we are just going to have some difficulty. But maybe we can sell to Riley here? Maybe? No, it appears not. Okay, well, without further ado, I will be ending this episode off here. Never mind! Gwyn! You have saved me. Oh, excellent. Thank you very much. Oh, yes. I want to sell all the prisoners for 1,332. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. So there it is. 1,332. And, yes, I will be ending this episode off here on a very good note by the looks of things. So I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.